Hey Sagittarius, this is your read, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll see what Mama Universe has in store for you guys today. Alrighty, so Universe, what do you got for Sagittarius? You got some guidance or some insight, maybe some warnings, some affirmations. What do you got for Sagittarius today? I feel like we're starting to get we're starting to get Mama's attention here. And they, I can feel the cards jumping around. There we go. There, now she's talking to us. So we have recognition and reward. Prosperity begins. Trapped in fear. Spiritual strength. And movement, choices, decisions. I feel like that trapped in fear is all about doubt and and a self-doubt. Um, I feel like we're going to ta be talking about sort of overcoming that um, and persevering and working towards this recognition and reward and this prosperity begins. Um, I think that's going to be the reward from the universe um, for us being able to overcome these doubts. I'm going to keep moving forward here. I have the solar plexus chakra. And that chakra tends to represent your inner power and your self-esteem. I have firm foundation. Stand your ground. Patience. And material harvest. So to me, these cards are all talking about um, trusting yourself. Trusting your ability to be successful. Having confidence in your choices. I feel like within that, you're setting that firm foundation for the future. Um, because I feel like it's coming your way. I feel like it's something that you're working towards and something that you're building towards. But I feel like it's on the way with that material harvest. The prosperity begins. Um, the recognition and reward. I feel like the payoff is just around the corner here for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what she's saying in these cards, too. So I have the Magician card here, and the Magician card says that you have all the tools that you need to be successful in this journey. You are extremely capable. The Hanging Man, to me, speaks of the same thing. You are capable of being successful in your life. The only thing that could possibly hold you back is you. And I feel like that's this Trapped in Fear card. That's the doubts that might hold you back from being successful. That might take you from... Or maybe taking that next step, taking that chance, and and giving into those doubts instead of trusting your gut and trusting your intuition and trusting yourself to know that you are capable of this. I have the strength card. To me, this is all about your inner strength, drawing on your inner strength to quash those doubts. I have the two of pentacles, and the two of pentacles speaks of balance as well. And to me, that's a balance. Um, of your thoughts and your feelings and not not letting any doubts or negative emotions overpower that uh, being able to recognize the truth and find clarity in your thoughts knowing that you are capable to move forward so I feel like in this line we're talking a bit about uh, what triggered this change I feel like it was disappointing and unexpected news. I have the Ten of Swords, which speaks of something disappointing happening, coming to a disappointing end. But one that was beneficial for you in the long run, that's what the light around the swords reads. Um, the Page of Swords represents disappointing or delayed news. I have the Five of Pentacles, uh, which represents going through a rough time financially. So I feel like it was a job loss. I feel like that's what happened in one, one form or another you lost your income. I feel like that was the kick in the pants that you need to send you on this journey. Um, I have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles represents seeing the fruits of your labor. So again, Tarot telling me that this payoff, this success in money is just around the corner for you. I have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups represents abundance in the home life. So I feel like it's going to ease some burdens that this job loss brought. Um, I feel like it's also going to ease those doubts too. 
I feel like you're going to have to force yourself to overcome them, but when this reward comes in, I feel like you're going to see that you were right in the long run to trust yourself, and it's only going to build up your confidence and your self-esteem even more. I feel like we're talking about a relationship now. Um, so I have the Two of Cups, and the Two of Cups is like the relationship card it speaks of. It speaks of a union. I also have uh, the Lover's card as well, so definitely a romantic relationship. I have Six of Pentacles, which represents an even give and take. It's not the vibe that I get here, though. Um, I get that somebody is giving more, and somebody is taking more. And then I have the death card, and the death card represents transition. So ending one chapter and beginning another one, but I don't feel like, like I, I don't feel like it's enough to say that this relationship has come to an end. I wonder if the dynamics are changing when this money comes in. Like maybe you've had to lean on your partner, and they've had to shoulder a little bit more of the financial burden, and that's what the Six of Pentacles is speaking to. Um, but I feel like that death card is speaking to change. This is changing. I have the temperance card, and the temperance card represents a balance between emotion and logic. And I feel like it's tying into this relationship and how conflicts are handled, because I feel like this Six of Pentacles might be, might be a conflict, um... So I have the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Wands can represent feeling overburdened or overwhelmed. I feel like it ties in to the doubts. And I have the Five of Swords here, and the Five of Swords can represent a selfish or short one victories. So I feel like it, it also ties in with your doubts. And maybe at times you weren't sure that you were choosing the right path um, and were maybe tempted to take one that was easier or would pay off quicker, even though you really knew that it wasn't going to be this prosperity begins in the long run. It was only, it was like a band-aid. It was a short-term band-aid. And, and you decided to stick with the path that you're on, but I feel like it did create more burdens because it, it, I feel like it's taken a while for this prosperity to show up. But when it does, whew, it's going to be a gooder. I got the Wheel of Fortune here. And the Wheel of Fortune represents your fortunes changing for the better. I got it right next to the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles represents abundance and happiness. So financial abundance and happiness. I have the Empress card. To me, the Empress card is all about nurturing. And I feel like she's speaking to this Five of Swords, this Ten of Wands, this this doubt, this other path that you could have chosen, and that you chose to trust your inner self, you chose to nurture this journey that you've started, and to stick with it. Now, I definitely feel like things have been tight for you financially. I have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is sometimes called the Miser card. Um, I feel like he speaks to that as well. He's tying into that Five of Pentacles. Um, so it's not been an easy journey. I have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands represents having to choose a path. Uh, that's definitely what you did here. And, and it wasn't an easy path. Just from that Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. Um, it, and I feel like that Six of Pentacles too has left things a little bit unbalanced in, in the relationship too. Just one person feeling like maybe they have to shoulder a little bit more of the financial burdens until this pays off. But I have the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups represents happiness and celebration. So I figure, I feel like this path that you are on is the right path. And I feel like it's about to pay off in the near future from a lot of the cards that I've pulled already. I have the Star card. To me, the Star card is all about hope in this read. I have the Fool card. The Fool card is all about taking that leaf, leap of faith and trusting yourself. I have the Hermit card. The Hermit card speaks of 
introspection. So I feel like I feel like when that doubt creeps in, being able to just take a moment to sort of step back and sort of look at things, look at your situation, look at the choices that you've made, and look at the payoff that you know is going to come from it because you do know it's coming. And I think that will give you the confidence and the hope to keep going. I have the King of Cups here, and he is just, to me, he is just sitting pretty. And I feel like that's going to be where you're at. You're just going to feel rich. You're going to feel like you have it all when this pays off. And I feel like it is paying off right away. And as I said that, I got the base chakra, which represents money. So it's definitely coming your way. I have temptation and awareness here. And to me, these are all about, again, not giving into that doubt, uh, being able to take time to reflect when those doubts start to creep in uh, and being able to, to see that you are on the right path, to see that that payoff is coming and your hard work is going to pay off and everything will be okay. And I feel like it's going to be more than okay. I feel big, big payoffs with this. And to me, that awareness card is all about recognizing that and trusting yourself to keep moving forward on this path because Tarot says success is coming, money is coming, happiness is coming. Alrighty, guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you're not already part of our community. We'd love to have you here at Tarot Harmony. Take care.